Nation and welcome back to the Next Generation series. I'm Kelly Mansell with Dog Nation Recruiting Insider Jeff Sintel and this is the series where we tell you all about the next generation of talent headed to Athens whether that be on the field or off the field and who has a better off the field story than Andre Evans the four-star cornerback out of Nashville Tennessee. I feel like the early guys that we do in these series are the ones that have a tremendous backstory so for Andre Evans where did that transformative moment happen? Yeah, Kaylee, I know a lot of folks will sit there and look at our next gens and think, oh, we've got, we've got their playbook figured out. They're going from highest rated to gone down. It's really not the case. Uh, Dre, Andre's got a story that will probably put that gold glint into your hair right now because it's really going to... There's a lot of players here in this class that, especially some of the ones we're going to talk about with these segments today, in terms of transformation is what happens. And I'm not just talking about on the football field. Uh, with Andre, I'm talking about a guy that at the end of his junior year, he maybe had the chance to go to like Arkansas or NC State. That's really good, but it's also amazing given where Dre was two or three years prior to that. And he gets into a situation where, if, I'm sure you've seen the movie Blindside, feels a little bit like that with a little bit of spin in terms of he's in a football desert, uh, he's working out, uh, a gentleman in his family, uh, they kind of, Joe Stanford, kind of catch him and they say, this is a way where we can kind of transform his life. And that's maybe go somewhere to play college football because he showed ability, but then it's also great education and really just kind of changed the trajectory of where he was going. And let's be very clear on this. One or two years ago, nobody that knew Andre Evans would have said that guy is going to have the ability and the opportunity to play at a place like Georgia. It goes without question that in the Kirby Smart era, they've signed elite DBs. You've got to be the best or the best, or they have to see something in you for you to get signed in that position at the University of Georgia. So when you look at a guy like Andre Evans, what is it about him that separates him from the rest of the DBs in his class? Kirby's got a type, Will Muschamp's got a type, and really it's length and size and speed. Uh, Andre's about 10.6, 10.55 in the 100. Folks, that's really fast. Uh, there's a connection there with new uh, transfer wide receiver, uh, London Humphreys. They went to the same high school. They ran track together. But for him, there's a measure of physicality. And there's a point in this story where it was really good. Like he, we talked about the transformation he made. Well, what happens is Joe, who owns the D1 facility in Nashville, that's a, if you're not familiar with it, that's a kind of a training complex, a brand where young high school players, young football players can get kind of college level training to kind of unlock their potential. And uh, Joe got him in terms of a, with a contact that has an NFL background in the Nashville area. And they worked every day to do something to make him better. And he was a totally different player in about two or three months to the fact where Alabama, LSU, and Georgia, Texas, all the heavyweights then wanted him. And he, chose, he chooses LSU. And he was kind of good with LSU, but then he sees what's happening at LSU defensively. And then Georgia kind of stays on him. He goes to a Georgia practice, and he's like, this is where I need to be. These are the people that are going to continue to push me. And this is a young man that comes from a – and Georgia, again, has a type. They find a guy like Andre Evans that may be a top 100 overall recruit but a guy that has a fire inside of him that's like, everything I've gotten, I've worked for. I've, I've built myself. There's no sense of entitlement. And he watches a Georgia practice, and you want to talk about transformation, is he walks away from that practice saying, that's the environment, those are the coaches, that's where I need to be to be the best football player I can be. It was almost a question of he could not go to college and not be at a place like Georgia. So at the time that we're filming this, it is the Thursday before St. Patrick's Day, one of my all-time favorite holidays, but I don't think any holiday could top a flip miss. And, <laughs> and like you mentioned, Andre Evans was an LSU flip. Yeah. Who was primarily responsible for making that happen? I'm going to tell you, Georgia fans, you should probably raise a, a beverage when you watch Syracuse football this fall because there's a lot of players in this class where Fran Brown has his hands all over him. And Fran Brown was kind of relentless in recruiting him. I remember Glenn Schumann goes up to Nashville and kind of bird dogs him and says, you can play at our level, you can play for us, but you got to come to camp. And he comes to camp and he makes that offer committable. But then 
Fran Brown, he had a type. He wanted a really fast guy, and he just kept recruiting Andre. He was kind of re- relentless, and Andre was kind of like, I'm good with LSU, but then he's like, come on, man. Just and, and Fran kind of never let go, and by that point, he committed to Georgia, and then he started lo- loving the relationship with Kirby, loving the relationship with Coach Muschamp, loving the relationship with future teammates, the program in itself. So that's when Fran moved off to Syracuse. There were so many anchors. There were so many connections he had to Georgia, regardless that he still knew he needed to be at a place like Georgia. Well, Andre Evans is certainly a next-gen that we are excited about, and I'm sure that we will hear his name a lot with spring practice beginning and continuing. And with that, that'll wrap up our Next Generation series. I'm Kelly Mansell with Dog Nation Recruiting Insider Jeff Sintel, and we will see you right back here next week for a next-gen you won't want to miss.